Hi, it's me Josephine and today I'm kind of hidden behind Grimm's Toys. This video is a Grimm's Toy haul, like you probably read in the title. And I'm talking about all of those toys. My daughter is two years old. I did not buy those toys recently. We have them already since a while. So I can also tell you what I think about them, how it is with them, and I'm going to do that. So if you're interested in knowing about all of those toys, then just stay until the end. So let's get started. My daughter is two years old and those eggs or bowls, I mean, it's kind of both because Grimm's has open-ended toys. These are bowls, but they come in an egg box. So you can pretend that these are eggs and my daughter really loves to play with them. She started playing with them when she was very, very little and because they have this big size, I was not afraid that she would swallow them, even though she licked on them. They did not lose any color. They really look almost like new. They just get on some spots, like here. They just get some marks from the rainbow, from rolling over the rainbow. Because with those balls, you can play a lot of different things with this rainbow, what I have here. I really, really highly recommend that toy. I really think this is a great toy already for kids what are under one, but one year olds will start having really fun with that. I wouldn't give the original box to a little kid. This is just a regular egg box. And the original, I have it in a closet so I can give it to my daughter when she's older. Because right now she's two and she destroys everything what is not made out of something that is unbreakable. <laughs> and this is just something very, very soft and easily to destroy. I mean, it's, it's just cardboard. But they look exactly the same and like you see, you can easily exchange it. Grimms has those eggs in different colors. They have it in the pastel. This is the pastel color. They have it also in black and white and natural and also in the more bright colors like those here. Then we have here the friends. The friends came on a little wooden board. What I have put to the side because this was also easier to break and my daughter has those also since before she was even one year old and she really really loves to play with them she does so many different things with them sometimes they are just people and other times they are different kinds of spices and she really enjoys playing with them and i think this is also a very great toy and grimms has them in black and white they have them also in the bright colors and like you see here in the pastel colors i am just a huge fan of the pastel colors <laughs> And I think they might have them also in different colors, but I am not sure right now in which colors exactly. Then here, this is one of all the options you can get for the birthday circle. The birthday circle is also available in different sizes. And we bought the small one because the bigger one I wanted to buy from Germany because in the US it is just very expensive. And we bought it kind of last minute. So they also did not have so many colors. You can get it also in a pastel color with pink inside, but I prefer something where it looks more like a ground. So it makes more sense when you put there the figures inside. That's why we have this blue and greenish. When you have it on the table, then you can easily make different kinds of setups. Like here we have it with the ocean. We have here the mermaid and we have here the little sea star. We could also put inside other things like here some elephants and or it could be the, the sky and then there could be the moon and a star and there are just so many ideas you could have but my daughter also actually plays with that as a toy it is not just for the birthday out and i think that is just something very wonderful for a kid to know okay every birthday i'm getting two more of those this birthday my daughter was supposed to get two more of those but corona <laughs> so yeah next birthday she will get four yeah let's go to these blocks these blocks are very great if you want to learn how to stack wooden blocks on top of each other and because you have to balance more with them than with other ones it is just not as easy and the kid 
has to try a little harder at the beginning but usually my daughter does not try to make something very complicated like balancing this one and then putting another one on top to figure out how it still works she just prefers to use the easiest way and just things like that i don't know are other kids different when they do that do they try more crazy things like balancing one like that my daughter is not interested in it but i still think that this might come one day i think that is a great toy they are very very beautiful made like all the grimm's toys i love how the colors are this is really something you always need every kid needs blocks that is just a must-have it doesn't really matter what kind of blocks there are so many out there but just find some blocks you really like and you will be good and then we have here this one i also have a separate video just about this specific toy this stacker balls these are little balls where you can put the balls like every other stacker the smaller ones and the bigger ones they have this also in different colors and yes they do have it in pastel but i don't have it in pastel my daughter really really enjoys playing with them she was interested from the first day we got them and um first it was just very interesting to stack them in each other and now she's using them also totally different like a bowl to cook inside to drink out of it and so many other things and i think this makes more sense than other stackers what you can just use for a certain age and then they are no more fun because with this you have way longer something of it then we have here those cute little mushrooms so far my daughter does not a lot play by herself with them the way i thought she would like sorting you can you can take off the part of the mushroom and i thought she would use them to sort color to color i did that as a play with her already and she did it when i did it with her but she's not doing it by herself she is using them actually like blocks she's just building with that and i mean it's an open-end toy so i love it <laughs> and i think it's also very great when we are making the table very pretty to have a seasoned table and then you have there those mushrooms because they can be also trees or mushrooms and they are just very very cute so i really really love them and like most of the toys we have it in pastel and you will also find them in black and white and also in the very bright colors i am not sure are you able to find them in the natural color because i think it just makes more sense to have it in a color but i think these are something you will definitely find in a natural color of grims and of course the birthday circle then we have here for the grims rainbow those half circles we have them actually in natural they are really really great but not for a small child my daughter for two years does not really know what to do with that i thought we could make that a dollhouse with a rainbow and it would be so beautiful and yes she plays with that when i do it but by herself she doesn't do it she does not really actually play by herself with that but i am very very sure she will when she's a little bit older but two she's just too young sometimes she takes the smallest ones and puts them on top of each other but she's not really actually playing a lot with it then there is something i realized as a difference between grimm's toys you buy in germany and grimm's toys you buy in the us and this is something i think it's very sad but it also made me not to buy any more of the natural grimm's toys this is that this looks just very very dirty it looks not pretty it has stains all over and we did not do anything with that it came like that and we had it on the carpet and i don't know is it maybe from the oil what was on top with the carpet and the connection it is fuzzy all over it looks really really dirty and i tried to clean it it is not possible and i really hate that i think that 
they look pretty ugly because of that and nobody wants to play with something that is ugly especially in Baldov you are trying to give your child beautiful toys well-made toys because you want your child to have beautiful things because with beautiful things you just play different than with ugly things ugly things you just yeah they're there and you throw them and they they just don't mean that much to you as a beautiful toy with those figures with those figures i saw on some of them like this one that it has color which goes here over the the skin and i know from germany because i grew up in the city what is just a half hour from where grimms has this store where they sell things with issues that things like that you get them for very cheap there because they are not selling them as regular toys but in the us you will get them as regular toys you will pay the full amount for toys what have issues and this is just something i think it's very sad and I really hate about the company Grimm's, even though I am a huge fan of Grimm's. I think they really should work on that. And that's why I will not buy any more toys of Grimm's in the US. I will order everything from Germany. Okay, that was kind of depressing. Next, the rainbow. Everybody loves the rainbow. That makes everybody happy. This rainbow is wonderful. It is beautiful. It is really, really just amazing. And it is in pastel colors and I absolutely love it my daughter loves it it is also like a stacker and there's so many other reasons why i love that rainbow why my daughter loves the rainbow and we have also a video about that on this channel what you can find in the corner this rainbow is just something i would never want to miss and you find this rainbow of course also in all the different colors like black and white the bright colors the natural color i almost forget i have another groom star here it is a rattlefish and this is a Grimm's toy what is awesome for babies of course the older ones can also play with it my daughter's too still plays with it it is a rattle and there is another video where i'm talking about that fish and i will link it in the corner and you will also find all the videos i was talking about in the description box and this fish is something my daughter really really loved and still loves and this toy is filled up with gemstones they make this very beautiful not a lot kind of quiet sound it is really really nice to hear it it is not annoying in any way this is my haul and i hope that this video was helpful for you if you like that video then give it a thumbs up and please let me know in the comments down below what are the favorite Grimm's toys of your child and of you which Grimm's toys do you not like and why and have you made the same experience with Grimm's toys from the US as I and have you made the same experience with Grimm's toys in the natural colors please let me know this in the comments down below I'm very interested in that okay that's it I will see you in the next video goodbye